Today I'm going to teach you a mental math method called subtraction with compensation. First, what is compensation? You can think of the word compensate, which is a verb which means to counterbalance, like a balance scale. If you add 5 to one side, you have to subtract 5 to make it equal and fair. And the counter is also true. If you subtract 5, you must add 5. So exactly when should I compensate? You should compensate if the bottom number's digit is larger than the top. Let's look at this example, 172 minus 58. The 8 is the bottom digit. It is larger than the top, 2. This only works because the 10s and 100s digits on top are also larger than the numbers in their places. 7 is larger than 5, so I won't have to regroup in my head, and 1 is larger than 0, the placeholder. I can't subtract 8 from 2, and I don't want to regroup. I should compensate. So instead of subtracting 58, I'm going to subtract 2 more, because I know that if I subtract 172 minus 60 in my head, it's much easier since there's a 0 in 60, the bottom number. I have a difference of 112. But I'm not done yet. I still have to counterbalance what I did. I took away 2, 2 more than I needed to. I have to give it back. So I'll add 2. 112 plus 2 is 114. My difference is 114. What will happen if I overcompensate? Your answer will be lower than it should because you took away too much. And again, you won't get the correct answer. It'll be unbalanced. What will happen if I undercompensate? Your answer will be higher than it should be because you didn't take away enough. And again, you'll get the wrong answer. When you're still learning this method, you can also check your work using a calculator or regrouping on pencil and paper. Compensation. If you took it away, you must give it back. Compensation.